الحمد لله رب العالمين وعاقبة المتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمة الله عليه رحمة واسعة He mentioned about the concept of ibadah and he said al-ibadatu ism jami' li kullu ma yuhibbuhu Allah wa yardah min aqwal wa af'al al-zahir wa batin Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wa asiyah when he described the concept of worship he said al-ibadah ism jami' so he said it's a comprehensive term so this is one definition of this, of uh, worship of ibadah and it's a comprehensive uh, definition he said it is everything that Allah loves and is pleased with from actions and statements open and hidden meaning those ibadat that worship which is within your heart and that worship which is outward and that could mean from actions on the tongue, from uttering the shahada or making dhikr, adhkar. And that can also mean the ibadah qalbiya, meaning those acts of worship that are within your heart. For example, tawakallah Allah. You know, putting your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or those types of worship, those acts of worship that are open on the limbs, for example, prayer. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with jameel ibadat that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah put that on our scale of good deeds and forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.